Hi, and welcome to the K. I am, believe it or not, on, nope, up here, higher, up here, much, much, much higher. Joining you from the stand of Bandera, actually from level one of their immense extrusion machine. It's level one of five, just to give you a sense of the dimension of these machines at the K2025. Bandera is a uh, leading producer of highly technical films uh, through their specialized extrusion process. We have a chance to talk to Massimo Santini. He is a sales director at Bandera. Uh, Massimo, uh, just the size of this machine. Uh, I was just up on the, the first level and I'm not even close to the top. Um, what are you presenting at the show this year? This year we are presenting a seven layer dedicated for uh, uh, barrier film as uh, with the collaboration with other company like uh, Golio, where we are uh, presenting a dedicated film for, uh, for pet food. And uh, with a new device that we have in our head, we can uh, have a minimum thickness of AVOH of one micro that give a very and in this one micro we can control very well with our uh, control system based with uh, K design plus we have a second uh, area of cooling system to properly cool down the product the film in order to have a, a very well transparency as you can notice on the on the on the blue film the, the transparency is very high level and uh, we have also present here in uh, in K show also with another uh, booth dedicated on the recycling we are as we are calling this uh, this uh, area upcycling because we 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 like to give a good uh, um, information on the, on uh, on the world that we can collect and we can have a good recycling to renew the product especially on the PAT to have a good uh, product at the end to present to the customers. Now Massimo you obviously know what you're talking about uh, your setup here is very impressive uh, as an expert in the field where do you see your customers needs going in the future what are they going to be looking for and how will Bandera uh, approach those problems and help them solve them? The main focus that the customer requests today to us is to have a good service. Today uh, most of the customer requests to have a service 24 hour and uh, okay seven day a week. Uh, with our hub uh, we have now dedicated hub in Asia, uh, India, okay India is Asia again but we have uh, one in Asia, Middle uh, Far East, one in India, one in China, one hub in Europe because it's uh, the headquarters, North and South of America. With those hubs that we have around the world we can cover seven days, 24 hour online uh, service Plus, uh, we can also offer to the customer a special dedicated package in order to cover 24 hours a day a service that they need. Massimo, thank you so much for finding the time to speak with us today. It was very nice to meeting you. It was very nice to speak with you. Hope everything will be great. Great. Thank you very much. What a great explanation from Massimo. Uh, one of the most important and definitely the largest uh, exhibitors here at the K2025. Uh, K the K is really an exceptional event. It is an exact mirror image of the development of the plastics industry in general. And now that it's a global scale, the K is one of the most important, if not some say the most important show within the trade industry. <laughs> The case started in 1952 here in Dusseldorf. It was called the Special Plastic Show Dusseldorf. And now, even though the name of the show is K in German meaning Kunststoff, it's so world known that anybody within the industry knows when you say K, it just means Dusseldorf every three years and it fills this place with all the leading uh, producers uh, and, and uh, customers within the plastics industry. Big changes at the moment, of course, as sustainability and a circular economy come to the fore within the, the minds of uh, both developers of product and machinery, and then also the customers that are accepting and, and paying for everything that happens here. Sustainability is key. 
Um, we are now at the stand of SML. Uh, it is a very traditional German company. We're hoping to get a word with uh, Karl Stoga, if we can find him at the stand. Ah, uh, there he is. I see him. He's in a conversation right now, but I'm going to try and pull him out. Ah, he saw us coming. Carl, oh, hi. hi. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you. Thank you for finding the time to speak with us at K2025 this year. Uh, once again, an incredible stand, uh, heavy duty machinery. What is the main theme of your exhibition here this year? Uh, for this machine, it is, of course, that we can produce uh, rolls with uh, paper cores and also coreless, and we can switch between one paper core and no paper core at the press of a button and this is what we demonstrate every day twice a day in the morning and the afternoon we run half an hour with paper cores second half hour without paper core mm -hmm. and without paper core at that quality this is unique mm -hmm. Now, I mentioned on the way over here, uh, this company has been a part of this show for quite a while now. Uh, what have you seen in, in your time here? Uh, what have you seen change in the industry? Uh, what is the current uh, need from a customer base? And what do you see going down the road? How are things going to change? Big question. <laughs> Big question. Well, I, I myself, I think the first uh, K, I was in the 80s. The company is even earlier. So we, I think we didn't miss a K from the very beginning. Of course, at that time, uh, the machinery, the technology was very different. Uh, now it's much more advanced. Uh, uh, key trains are, you know, uh, fully automated. Uh, labor is, is a problem in our industry, in the plastic industry, that no people want to, to work shifts at night. So the machines are highly automated, uh, that require less uh, humans to run the machines. And the humans who run the machine don't need to be uh, special experts, you know, that uh, the machine take over most of the tasks already and can optimize uh, itself as a machine. And going forward, what trends do you see down the road or even exhibiting themselves today? Uh, well, uh, one thing is because uh, at the moment everything is a little bit uncertain in the markets. So people who invest want to have a machine that are multi-purpose. So they have, like this machine, we can do hand rolls, machine rolls, we can wind on two inch shafts, on three inch shafts, uh, we can do super power. Because when you buy a machine now, it will be delivered in 12 months. And you, it's difficult at the moment to foresee what the market is demanding in, in one year from now. So machines must be universal. Whatever demand is coming, the machines should be able to produce it. And that's something like, uh, you know, uh, we try to incorporate in this machine and other machines that whatever film product is in demand, the machine can produce it at the top quality and without compromises. Well said. Karl Stoga of SML, thank you for finding the time to speak with us today and for being a, a cornerstone of K throughout the years. It's very happy and for me to, to be a part of the interview and uh, you're always welcome to come back. Thank you. Thank you very much. And that's it for now from K2025 in Hall 15, the hall of the big machines. Thank you very much.